Or can I not have my night vision on because of it? Problem. Huh. All right, we'll check the other side, I guess. <sighs> Fuck you, dude. Fuck. All right. Fuel store. Push it to phone to get comfy. Be right back. All right, we'll be here. Thank you. Gotta get nice and comfy. Absolutely. That's everyone's mentality. Oh shit! Oh my god! Please leave me alone. I'm on floor five. I'm bad. I'm a baddest motherfucker in the world. I made a terrible decision Four there. Months. Zonum zero height shuffle five zero 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 zero Whereas the lights came on, tree. Oh, there's no getting through all that. Bill doesn't seem right. Maybe it's this way. Take another right. Yeah, this is yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was across the way the whole time. All right. F fucking shit. All I saw was required. Just so I could find a fuse. Hey, buddy. Oi. Hey, prick. <laughs> Closed for now. Nothing up there. And that's a dead end. Awesome. Well, don't run under that awning thing. It lowers every time you go under it. Under the awning? Oh, God. I have nothing on me for items to use. So it's not like I just haven't. Jesus. All right, 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 all right. Fucking Mrs. Geiger counter. Oh, it's a lighter. Where the fuck is the thing I, uh, I need the lighter for? I don't think I've seen it yet. <laughs> Jesus Christ, all I did was stand up. I guess that was too close. I think this one's a goodie. Negative six, okay. Working our way back up. Oh! Oh shit! Oh Brain is like, how to function. Alright, so ready to come. 
Skylights. Alright, it's a different one. I think. Oh, look up. <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't research the mind that someone is willing to go to extremes to secure. Rescue teams look with theories now in Hyler as they attempt to navigate the treacherous tunnels to restore the mine's safety. The investigation into this deliberate act of sabotage is ongoing, is ongoing and the public anxiously awaits answers. <clears throat> okay. Was there... There was someone in that elevator, wasn't there? Yikes. What a real sketch. Oh my fucking god! Oh, you're gonna come down here. Oh! Probably locked. Yep. Okay. That was great. I had a feeling it was locked the whole time. That's why I skipped it. God damn. Sometimes I should really listen to myself. Maybe I remember. I swear I just saw something right behind you. What? Oh, you fucker, dude! Oh no! Oh my god! going the wrong way. I'm gonna go see if I can get Nox. Wide enough, might be able to pull this off and get him back. What the fuck was that? I was just up there. Damn. Welcome in, everybody. Hi. Yes, welcome. Shuffle, welcome. Twy, welcome. Demon, if you can... Uh, good luck getting all of you. My apologies on being late. Um, I went to a trivia night at seven and I was like, I'll get over around eight 30. By the time I got out of the brewery, it was already after nine. Like, Oh, you can't hear me over the music. Sorry. <laughs> I had completely forgot that, um, I had changed something. Actually, let me check one other thing. Every time I play fucking club, something's. Anyways, uh, properties. I'm probably a lot louder now. How we doing? I'm assuming that's a lot better. Tell me otherwise much, but yeah. So yeah, so there's an issue with Clone Hero where it hits random hotkeys and I usually disable the hotkeys so I don't have a problem with it. But that one happens every once in a while and I can't figure out what the hotkey is, but it basically decides to lower my mic input volume from like 70 to 10. <laughs> it's outrageous. All right, well, thank you for uh, letting me know, everybody. Um, so again, welcome in, everyone. Shuffle, Fry, 
We got fucking Demon in there, but Demon's doing some schoolwork. We got Twy hanging out. So thank you all, and uh, and thank you, Shuffle, for the, the early resub. Four months. Fucking nuts. Um, so yeah, I actually was down at Sour Not Sorry Brewing, um, and it was the uh, one in every two weeks trivia night. And this one was sports trivia, and I was like, I'll go. I'll go. And we ended up winning somehow. Uh, it was only us and one other group, so we only had to focus on ourselves, really. But um, it was a close game the entire way, and uh, we pulled it off, so we got a bunch of fun stuff. So thank you. Thank you. So one thing I actually got to pick out of the bag of, like, there was a big, like, prize bag thing. And, like, they're like, yeah, just dip it out amongst yourselves. I fucking lunged at these. These motherfuckers. The hazardous sour candy. These are the more sour candy than warheads. I've had these a few times. They're really fucking good. So basically like a warhead, right? You all remember the warheads growing up. Um, hard The hard outside of the candy is the sour bit. And the inside, it's more of like a sweeter, like, um, like a liquid or a gel kind of filling. However, yes, Fry. <laughs> However, these ones, the toxic waste, it's the same thing, except that gel on the inside is also sour, so you don't get any relief. So, I haven't updated the wheel yet, but at some point, I am going to do that, and because obviously the beef jerky died, um, unfortunately. It, it, we had like a couple pieces left anyway, so it wasn't a huge loss. It really got a good miles worth, a couple of miles, <laughs> quite a few miles out of it, actually. And uh, so I'm going to replace that with the sour candy because that's something different. We have stuff that tastes gross, like the bean boozles. We have spicy stuff. We have whiskey. We have beer. Now we have something sour. Um, so yeah, so for tonight, um, I called an audible last, well, not really last minute. It was a few hours ago. Um, I was super exhausted earlier today. I almost didn't even go out. Um, but uh, I, I wanted to move the VR uh, activities. We were supposed to do it tonight. I moved them to Saturday. Um, that way I wasn't stressed about like trying to get back here on time and set up and everything. And, and I'm glad I didn't because we wouldn't be starting a game until probably 10, 15 at this point. Um, however, uh, we're going to just take what we had planned on Saturday and move it to tonight. So we're starting off with the newest, latest, I don't know if it's going to be greatest or not, we'll see, uh, but it is the latest title from Emeka Games, uh, a staple here on the channel. We've played every single Emeka game, I'm pretty sure at this point. I, I think we've played every single, like, Emeka-oriented game where Emeka had something to do with it like guidance or or like a, a friend because they're all part of like this big bundle so for instance jo uh just tom cook he's actually working on um his new game it's going to be based kind of like on the thing um for those who have seen that movie if you haven't oh get on it uh but yeah that is that is called i think it's trapped beneath the ice um if i ever i may i may be misquoting that but it's something to that effect for sure um and we'll be playing that when it comes out but uh yeah he's like all of his games we've played and everyone else <clears throat> and uh so we got that starting um and i just this kind of annoyed me and i wanted to bring this up um not that i anticipate anybody that's here in chat to do this nor probably anyone that's really following the channel anyways um, but another problem that keeps coming up with Emeka games to no fault of the developers at all, uh, these games are meant to be shorter. They are usually less than two hours. If you're spending more than two hours in Emeka game, it's probably your first time playing an Emeka game and you don't kind of get the, the overall, like, I don't want to say culture behind it. That doesn't seem right. Like, the, the way that they develop the game and structure it, like, you kind of know what to expect after playing the first one. Yo, what's up, Skelly? How you doing? Hope you've been feeling better. I know you've kind of had a uh, rough go of it of late. 
um, at least a few weeks ago you did. Or is that last month? I don't know. Time's kind of, you know, ma mashing together. But anywho, what really bothers me is that since this game can't, I guess this game and many other Emika games and many other horror games out there that we have even played on the stream here, you could beat them in under two hours, which means if you really wanted to be that bag of shit, you could go to Steam and ask for a refund. So you're able to, like, play the game entirely and then go, all right, peace. Like, someone did this um, a few days ago because the game came out on Friday last week. It was a big surprise. Like, we knew we knew that there was a game coming. We didn't know when. And all of a sudden, boom, it was here. Uh, but a content creator, I don't recall the name of the person. It, it wasn't, like, a massive, like, partner or anything like that. But they bought the game, played the game. They enjoyed the game because they left a review on Steam. And they also made a video and put it on their YouTube. So, like, not only live stream, put it on YouTube as well. Like, it's all the whole nine yards, the whole package, right? Um, however, this person went and refunded the game. And we know they did because on their review, it says product was refunded. And it was just like, so you want all the content from it, you want the enjoyment of it, and you even left a fucking review to say how much you liked it, but you still wanted, like, your, what, $9 back? And that just, like, it it blew me the fuck away that people still fucking do that to this developer and continue to play his fucking games. Like, if you enjoy the developer that much, and they're an ind especially their independent developer, like, okay, if you go fucking buy Dying Light 2 and you speed run it in less than two hours, which I think is impossible... You speed run it and you want to get the money back afterwards? Fine. Fuck AAA. It's no, fine. But these indies, like, come on. Let them have the couple of bucks. Nothing worse than people going, like, oh, this game wasn't good enough. I don't know why you would even have to pay for this. It's stupid. It's like, because they put time and effort into it. Anyways, let me catch up on chat. Skelly says, doing good now. Friend gifted me a vintage guitar. I'm going to know which one that is. Learning it while I'm chatting. That's sick. Time is an illusion, Jug. Yeah, you're not fucking wrong. Yo, little Miss Kimmy, how are you doing? Hope all has been well. That's one thing I love about Emeka Games. It's so sad that people did that. Yeah, it's it's been a problem now for a few titles, and it's it's so it's so upsetting to see it. Like, if you really want to just like feel terrible about it, like if you want to get yourself into a bad mood, just go to the Steam page for any of like his recent games and go down to the reviews, show all the reviews, and then just do a control F to find refunded and it's like so dumb that's scummy yeah that hurts you can't do that to dev especially if you enjoy it yeah ex exactly like that's just an added like brother <laughs> like his review was like this game was so great blah 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 and it's like fuck i feel like you have to purchase a copy to offset the shittiness shuffle well then you have to play it live you got to do it on stream that's a big must it's the EP100T. There's only a few left that's in a good condition. I gotta repair the headstock because it's super glued from 20 years ago. Holy shit. That's really fucking cool, Skelly. Chaos, welcome in. Everyone give a, uh, a quick congratulations to Chaos. A, uh, a life-changing new home just moved into. Big, big move up in the world for Chaos and, and their family. Uh, happy to report the good news. <clears throat> I'm actually pretty sure it's older than you. Not sure it's from the 1960s. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. If, if you want, um, you want to know Skelly? So, um, not the orange cab. That's like I think it's from like the two early, no, oh, late 2000s, early 2010s. Not the combo. Was it a crate? Yeah, the crate. I can't remember the fucking thing. The combo crate amp for my guitar. That's like, I think that's like 2012, 2013 or something like that. The fucking Sun Coliseum base head that ties into the orange cab. That thing is from at least, the, it's somewhere in the 1960s because the manufacturing year says 196 and the last digit is scraped off. I can't fucking read it. It's literally impossible. I noticed the guitar till now. Oh, you didn't? Oh, yeah. So I have... um. The, there's two of them there. You can see the red one. That's my five string bass. I don't remember like what fucking model it is or anything. It might be a Rio. 
but it doesn't say anything anywhere. And then behind it um, is my first and only guitar I've ever purchased. Uh, and it was a 2000, I'm it's a 2006. I'm a man, this on the world. Oh, thank you for the sub less chaos. Than three, less than three, less than three. Thanks guys, I'm so tired, but tomorrow is the first day I can relax since we got here last Thursday night. Awesome. Tomorrow's gonna feel awesome then. To feel, to like, really sit down in your new home and be like, ha, ah, this is mine. That's so cool. I'm so happy for you. Like that, that, that really, really relieving feeling. Um, yes, the guitar behind it um, is a 2006 Ibanez GAX30. Yo, Spuds, yeah, congrats to you as well. Spuds and Chaos with their new home. I wish I was toasting with something other than water, but I'm trying to be better. Plus, I just had fucking three beers earlier, so. <clears throat> but yeah, I um I do have to fix my my base rig, which is the Sun Coliseum head and then the orange cab. Um unfortunately, for some reason. I'm not getting anything out of the cabs, but when I turn that on, there's a fucking fan built into it. That's how you know it's old. You know, the cooling system is a literal fan on the bottom side. I hear the fan kick on, the lights come on, everything looks good. Nothing comes out of the uh, the cab. I'm hoping it's just the cable um, that connects the two, and I just it might be burned out or something. And if that's the case, then big fucking deal. Fix. But um, I really want to get back into playing, because it's been a long time. Take a shot of vodka for you. Awesome. Thank you. I wish I still had my Gibson. I would have passed it on to you. My hands are too small. I couldn't get the hand of hang of guitar. Which is funny because my hands are too big and my fingers are too thick. I'm terrible at guitar. So I started playing bass. <laughs> so Yeah, no, I liked I liked bass because like I'm able to like give pressure with all of my fingers, not like trying to lightly touch a spot. I can really push down on it and, and play it. It feels more comfortable, I guess. First guitar was a 1980 Telecaster that cost me four of my paychecks. That sounds about right. An 80s Telecaster, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. I had a Gibson and an acoustic. Nice. My sister had an acoustic guitar. I don't remember what it was. It was it was given to her by her best friend's mom. She she was just like, Oh, this is my first acoustic guitar. Like, I think you should have it. Learn how to play if you want. And, uh, and she's like, okay. And like, she played it for a bit and really wasn't her thing. And I was taking a guitar class in college and I was like, huh, I brought my Ibanez in. The guy's like, it'd be really cooler if you get an acoustic. Do you happen to have one? I'm like, my sister does. I'll ask her. And he was like, all right, no big deal. I, just, I want to be able to hear how you're playing. And obviously if it's an electric guitar and you're not plugged in, it's going to be drowned out by all the other acoustics that are made to play acoustically. Hence, I'm like, yeah, 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 I get it, I get it. So she let me have it. Played on, I brought like two classes. Um, I was tuning it before the third class. And all of a sudden I just heard noise. I'm like, what's that? And then the bridge just fucking, bleh, it just ripped right the fuck off. I was like, what happened? <laughs> the fucking wood just gave out. It was unbelievable. There's a, uh, there's a video of it somewhere. You had an Esteban? Oh, I do in fact love acoustics. I'm actually still learning from my high school teacher. Dude's practically my friend now. Oh, that's cool. That's also I had a, my uh, chemistry teacher was super cool. I remember like finding out he had an Iron Maiden tattoo, and I was like, "Oh!" And uh, there was a few times where um, my early years in college, when I was going to Wentworth in Boston. Um, I was on an internet radio station at the campus, and I had a show at like. It was usually like either Monday and Wednesday night or Tuesday and Thursday night. I can't remember. It's depending on the semester. Um, but uh, yeah, my chemistry, my old chemistry teacher, like used to tune in and listen to my show. I thought that was so cool. Most chemistry teachers were amazing. You know, honestly, yeah. Like even our shitty chemistry teacher in high school was like severely dyslexic. So when he was it, like, which is not funny, obviously, like that's not something to joke about. But what he did was really fucking funny. So they were doing a review. I was in the class next door. They were doing a big review. And to review for the exam, they were reviewing dicks. Yeah, I, I guess so. That's biology, though, Tree. <laughs> Thank you, Tree. <laughs> so that was timed. 
Um, I blew my fucking mind with that. So anyways, they're playing like a Jeopardy game. And uh, he goes to write categories on the board. And that man 1000% spelled out cat orgies. And the room erupted. And they and he's like, what's so funny? And they had to explain, you misspelled categories. It says cat orgies. And he was like, oh, I'm so sorry. And like wiped it away. And then proceeded to spell it out exactly the same way a second time. <laughs> And like just hearing the laughter, I'm just like, what the fuck's going on? Like we have an exam next week, <laughs> like we all do, because the school, like the school, always had like the exams like the same weeks, like any other like high school, really. Um, can't blame anybody for laughing. Yeah, that's super fucking funny. Like, he, the guy, he was like embarrassed about it. Like we didn't feel bad. Like no one was laughing at him for having, you know, uh, the disability. Cause that would be fucked up. Like, but it's just funny. Like. The outcome of it like there was also a dyslexic kid in my grade and i remember one time like i was we had to like write something like it was like interview questions and stuff and it was specific about like current events and like world news and stuff and i got paired up with the guy and we had to read each other's answers and we were talking about the war in iraq because it was like it was pretty fresh it was only a couple of years in <laughs> He spelled Iraq, lowercase i, not, okay, like, I'll let that one slide, R-A-C-K, and I was like, oh my god, <laughs> so fucking funny, Iraq, <laughs> not me typing it out to remember how it was spelled, I guessed it, <laughs> nice, yeah, so, it's, it, laughing at the product of something, um, it's different. You're not you're not directing your laughter at a person because of their inability to do something. Um it's it's more so like, oh wow, like I feel bad you have that, but at the same time what you just did was really funny. Um and it's not like they're getting hurt. Like this isn't someone that's like you're not gonna laugh at like I don't know, let's say a paraplegic falling out of their wheelchair. Like, no, like falling body like i'm gonna try not to laugh at it i laugh at any time anybody falls but like that's a little different i feel as an example not that i've ever done that before i just want to make that clear <laughs> i'm digging myself into a hole here oh fuck i was making fun of myself because i'm like oh if we did vr we wouldn't even start to like 10 15 it's 10 08 it may or may not be lying we'll never know anywho um, why don't we get into this fucking game? I'm very excited to be playing a new Emeka game. So, uh, join me on over. Okay. Took care of the settings and everything already. Um, we should be good to go. Stories about a small village. At first glance, it is no different from our other villages. Something happened in that changed the lives of everyone involved in the story. It's getting louder. Take a look at this and you will see mystery shrouded in a strange fog. And also the stories about a man who happened to be in that village by accident, and who will have to influence the outcome of a mystical event. Click. Space. Enter. Okay. I don't know why we had to crescendo that fucking hard, but here we are. <laughs> it was a good, it was a fucking banger though. Help us. You don't belong here. Please help us. How does head hurt? Yeah, why do, so why does my head hurt? My head hurts? What happened? No service. My phone is not working. Here's no signal. There's no signal here. I think I drove into the village. It's getting late. I'm going to look around. I need to find where to call from. The mist is the achievement I just got. That's not good. Ryan, what's up, dude? Thanks for the lurk, man. Oh boy. Oh, this is not what just happened there. That happened across the board. I'm just going to practice walking in a circle. All right, we're looking good here. Yeah, there are no drop frames on that, but um I think we we're just trying to load some shit. Little lurk at work. Hope you enjoy jobs. Hey, thanks, right? Hopefully work is uh nice and quiet for you. Need to find help. Brother, I'm gonna go check on my car. Oh, that's fucked. Alright. 
Oh great, my sprint is basically a jog. The fuck is going on there? What is this place? Like, I figured a village would be like stuff going on, but that's like, this is deserted, abandoned. Okay, I'll go that way. What does that say? Uh, obviously it says only B flat. And this one says, uh, uh, Tex Hanka, which is obviously a new Texaco gas station that's run by Hank Hill. Uh, huh. This one is Ka Kaiwa, which is the the new spin-off series of Caillou, except it's his sister. That's it. See, I can read Russian. I got this down. Wow, what's so funny? Oh, jeez, that is fucking right. We have to protect our children. It wasn't their fault. It was an accident. No, we're not going to touch this witch's body. We're going to pretend we don't know anything. It'll be better for all of us. If he finds her, he'll think it was an accident. There's nothing he can do. So somebody killed a supposed witch and has covered it up. That's not good. Please help me. I need to call to emergency. I told you what that said. It did. Hello? Jesus, fuck. Who the fuck did that? Why is chat being slow? Great. Was that a scream? That was a scream, but why was the radio flickering? And who did that? God damn it. All right, I guess I'll go towards the screen. What the fuck noise was that? Did someone just kick a can down the road at me or something? Oboa, yeah, I've, I've been to Oboa, yeah. Pretty good heroes, or gyros, however you pronounce it. I literally hear people yell about it both ways. Oh, what is this, fucking Tarkov? They finally made Tarkov into a legi legitimate horror game. Is that phone ringing? Yeah, that's not to be unlocked. Hello, everybody. This can crush is for my Lola. What the, the girl fuck? that got shot? Oh, thanks for the bits, father. Can crush. Hello? Does not work. That's up. The fuck noise was that? It wants me to go that way, but I just heard a bang over here. I don't mean the bang that was earlier. They don't know who did. Can I go through here? No. Okay. There seems to be no front door on the other side of the fence. I can't go this way any further, I'm assuming. Yeah, no. Okay. See, and this is the difference between, like, I had a conversation with Nox earlier, and a big thing with these walking simulators is that sometimes you have to find the right place to go to have an event trigger. Um, but the way the Emika works, like, it, there, it does these things to try to get you to go this in a particular way when you need to. Like, the telephone to here, then this says go this way. 
versus go to see if this is unlocked go to see if you can walk around this truck like stuff like that so he's putting up boundaries with you know that, that are dynamic we'll say and i think that makes his walking simulators that much more better because you're not stuck because you won't be stuck in random places like and i know nox had a really difficult time last night with um the descent and i know i had a difficult time with it too hey can you help me i don't think this dude wants to help this jabroni is probably dead i was sitting in a boat on the lake and i saw that the fog had descended on the water i tried to swim to the shore but i couldn't see anything Finally, when I touched the shore, I rather ran home. In the house, I saw that my wife was frozen like a statue, and my dear children were motionless. I ran out of the house in fright to find at least someone who can help me. He's dead. Need to get out of here. Yeah, that, that dude's cooked. Fuck. That was fucking terrifying. Brother. Were you here before? Were you here before? I swear you weren't there, but you don't look like you're alive. You look like you're a mannequin of some kind. This is really confusing. But yeah, I guess I'll, I guess I'll leave. No one wants to give me the phone. Yeah, look at the light now over at that house. I bet it's unlocked now. Of course. Oh, the phone's ringing too. Different phone. The phone in the house. Okay, got it. See, now it's unlocked. So I think in this place, like, have it so that there's, like, a chain on it and you find bolt cutters over on the island. Like, that's, that'd be something you could also do, or, you know, could also be done to have those boundaries. Is anyone here? Well, someone answered the fucking phone. What the fuck? Ah. Uh, trigger warning, everybody. I got another conversation I just had with Nox earlier today. <laughs> I warned them. Those dirty little kids shouldn't have bullied him and his doll. I told their parents, but that's the use. What's the use if they're the same themselves? They also called me crazy. So don't fuck around with that teddy bear. You're gonna let me in now? No. Yo, sugar, what's up? Welcome in, my friend. All right, so don't make fun of the bear. But also... What's the point of just to be able to see that? Like, I... I don't know. It's kind of weird. <clears throat> Some... The truck moves? What the fuck? What is going on up there? What the fuck was that? Morning, tell us. Please help us. What the fuck is going on? 
I just want to make sure there's nothing over here. Find random achievements. Feel special. Dopamine fix. You know, while I'm getting the shit scared out of me. I won't open. Oh, this is open. There's a van in it. Yeah, really nothing here. Okay. I just always feel like I have to look before I just keep moving to the obvious spot. Even though I just said, like, how much more helpful it is when there are obvious cues, like, you know, big orange lights in one direction. Looks like I need my schizo meds. Go get them. Apparently I thought schizo was the mean word. What the fuck? These all mannequins having a ritual? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Uh... So what's up, everybody? What's everyone's names? Are you all named Woody? I didn't even notice the item. I don't know why I did that. Yeah, it did. What the fuck noise was that? Is it safe for me to read this? Let's all go around the room and share one fun thing about ourselves. <laughs> it's all your fault. I haven't done anything wrong to you. My only friend was my doll, but you were laughing at him, laughing at me. You even took a loved one away from me. And I've shown you what it's like. You will live in agony forever, and this will not change in any way. Fuck that, dude. This dude's got some sketchy ass fucking like rush like Russian Annabelle stuffed animal. Anyone in the shitter? No. Okay. Check this door. Okay. Me and social anxiety. <laughs> The Heart of Darkness Achievement Unlocked. Now I have a flashlight. Huh. I was at the old well. What I saw there and what Luca told me is true. They have to pay for it. I have to punish them. What the fuck? No one's been in this fucking house in how long? Everything is dusty as fuck. I can hear the rodents running around and squeaking. And there's a, someone rocking in a rocking chair over here. And the door's locked. And the door's locked. Fuck. Anything else I can click on anywhere? Yo! Fuck that noise. Nearly got jugged. Yeah. See, that was, that was, see, that's what works. I looked at that window, just to see if I could see anything outside. Just out of curiosity, didn't see a thing. I went and checked the doors and then made my loop back around. All I had to do was go back to the other side of that room. Small room. Would have figured it out eventually. Everyone would have. Yo, what's up, man? I think it's a cool fucking doll. It's got like, it looks like it has a mustache. Alfred Brimley, teddy bear. See if Okay, that doesn't count. <sighs> Hold on. What am I doing here? I have to leave. Not a phone, yeah. Yeah, it's time to go. I'm not supposed to be in this fucking house. For some reason, I'm in it. Still locked. Cool, we're leaving. No, 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 no. Lock the door from the outside, but... But the... 
What? Oh, fuck me. There are bars in all the windows. You need to find another way to get out of here. I went into the wrong fucking house. Yeah, I'm definitely in the wrong fucking house. This is the bait house. <laughs> fuck. Yep, okay. Game went from zero to 60 real fucking fast. Open this door now. No. I'll go again. Right. Anything else around in here? Oh. Can we stop? Can we stop? Please, can we stop? Stop. Please, for the love of fuck, stop. Oh my god. There was something here I could have grabbed. <laughs> oh, gross. Shit. There's a ladder, but I can't use it. I fucking hate this, dude. Oh, fuck. What's going on here? It's a good question to ask, but I don't think they're interested in telling... Telling me? Where's my flashlight? What do I- What do I have in my hand? Why is- What's up with this vision? Is this from like my cell phone or something? I don't know... I don't know what just happened, but this is a lot worse than having the flashlight. Oh... Motherfucker, who did it? Wait, was that not one of you? Oh, fuck that. That's fucked. <gasps> I fucking hate children. This game's trolling me fucking hard. I can't even stand back up. There we go. I looked this way to see where that rocking chair was, too. Fucking children. Stay out of my... Stay out of my new home. Oh, there's an upstairs? Someone's upstairs. How do I get upstairs? I... Oh, that fucking thing. Oh, there's a ladder in the other room. That's right. Oh. Now I'm really fucking nervous. There's a ladder here, but it goes to nowhere anyways. How do I get upstairs? I really, really, really want to go upstairs and, and get out of this house as quickly as possible. Anybody? Anybody have instructions for me? Yeah, I understand. Oh! I'm way up to the attic. Maybe there's a window there. Okay. Now I go get the... Margaret. Give me the fucking ladder. Let's go. Come on. Yep, 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 yep. Let's get going. Let's get going. Let's get go. Oh, yeah. Hello. Oh, boy. There's no mannequin at that window, though. Ha ha. Yep. Right there. Perfect. 
anyone else is around here going to try to grab me as I go up the ladder. I think I already read this. It had to happen. When I saw that boy through the window, I realized that he saw something he shouldn't have seen. I need to get ahead of him. Oh, God. Hello, housekeeping? Oh, you fucker. Dude. Alright, fuck it. Lurky lurk, baby. Ali G. What's up, my friend? Hope you're doing well. One of these days, these mannequins are going to touch your ass. Honestly, you're not wrong. There was a demo I played where the mannequin started moving. It fucked. It's locked? Oh. A uh, doy. Whoa. Oh. Ha ha. Very cute. Very, very fucking cute, guys. Oh, it's just the fucking teddy bear. Hey, teddy. That is so fucking unnerving. Please stop. Listen, Teddy, I, I'm chill, man. Like, or, or... Like, for for real, I'm just... I, I, I got lost. I'm trying to find, you know, a, a fucking... fucking place. It's like, get a phone call out, and I hit my head. I'm kind of confused. I'm going to read this, though, okay? It's been four weeks since the disappearance. Luca told me that it was the children's fault. He gave me a letter from his mother. He said I had to find out the truth. Seriously, in the toy car. All the mannequins, all the dolls. Oh, right here. One, I lock the doors. Two, I close my eyes. Three, find a place for yourself. Four, don't breathe. Five, feel your heart pounding. Six, wait. The ladder has fallen, must jump. Do I have to? Now what? That was a mannequin, right? Oh, fuck. What was that? Was that the weird lady? Uh, what's this? A secret room? How do I get behind there? Hey! Okay, here we go. Okay. Do you need a throat lozenge? How the hell? There's a secret door here. There must be keys in a crowbar somewhere. You know, just three keys you randomly fucking just find. What's this? To open a lock, use the hints. Lock. Telephone key. She's in there using the fucking sewing machine. Alright, so here's the telephone. I don't see a key anywhere. Oh, right there. Don't breathe, okie dokie. Oh, I have to find all three keys, okay. So, lock, so telephone, key. 
Was there more keys near the telephone? I guess not. Oh, right here. Oh, what's this? Oh! Picture of some sort. I can always say what I feel to my doll. Luca always listens to me. Luca is my friend. Okay. Oh, another one. Faster. This is on the windowsill above the heater. Oh, right here. Right? Maybe not. Oh, it's in a different room. There's the third one. This one is... on the drawer of a cabinet with bottles on it. Okay. <sighs> okay, I'm fine. Fuck you. Alright, I already forgot the fucking clue. Hmm, I need my ears. No. Precisely, Fry, thank you. All right, so this one was on, oh yes, the windowsill above the heater. I can't even fit this way, can I? No. Windowsill above the heater. Got it. That's the second one. The third one is on a cabinet with drawers and bottles on it. Hi. What's this? Oh, crowbar. I do need that. Thank you. I, I appreciate you. That was very kind. Right here. The fucking key is missing. Yo, Shiki. What's up, my friend? How are you doing? Shit. Someone took the fucking key. Oh. Alright, well, thanks. I have all three keys and a crowbar. <laughs> okay. Don't know what fucking noise that was. <sighs> Trying to touch the goods, so, yeah. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Fish my works up and now I can finally hang out. Oh, welcome! Perfect timing. Get me the fuck out of here. Oh no, it's just a secret room. Let there be blood. Achievement unlocked. What is this place? Ah, just another part of the house that was fucking hidden away, I guess. Oh, fuck that. I don't need to go there now. Yeah, I know, I just wanted to go look. Looks like great timing. Oh, yeah. The best timing. There's been quite a few jumps. Sloth? Yo, that sounds like a tree. Oh, thank you for the clip. Econ, I'll understand you if you're mad at me. I knew that deep down you wanted to have real friends and you missed the live communication with other people. I couldn't let anyone get close to our family. Otherwise, they would have found out our secret and what happened to me now would have happened much earlier. You were kind to everyone, but they didn't deserve it. I wanted the best for you. My mother, your grandmother, taught me many things and she also told me not to trust people because they're afraid of people like me. Are we in the witch's house? Is that what we've been doing? Almost positive that's what's going on here. Fuck. Is the stuffed animal eating something? Is that what that noise is? Oh. 
There's no fucking ceiling to this. Is there gonna be someone up there? God, I fucking hope not. I can't fucking leave this room. All right, so there's something in here. Hey, bud. I see you get out of the cage. Uh, why is there a knife in your head? That must not be very comfortable. Let me let me pull that out for you, okay? That must hurt. I don't want you to be hurting, because we're friends, right? Oh, fuck me. How do I pull the knife out? Okay. See ya. I don't want to hang with you. Oh, Slappy the dummy over here. Come on, turn on. Okay. One, I close my eyes. Fuck. Fuck all of this. Holy shit. That one has eyes. Back into the room again. <laughs> Hang down from like a chandelier. Friends till the end. It's I understand you're here, but I don't know what to do. <laughs> so that's like the face of the grasshopper from the bug's life. Jesus. The same thing I've already read? Okay, it is. Okay. Do I go somewhere else now? Still can't open that door. Oh no. Fuck. Where do I go? There's no place to hide. This is awful. I can't go in that way. The, oh. Touch the... Oh, I just stab it? Okay. Do I stab all of you? No? Oh, we all have... Yikes. Oh, this is fine. Yeah. Prisoners, achievement unlocked. Oh, good. The, oh, the only place I can go. Why do you seem so scared? Please come and play with me. You're a jerk. I think it's the best. I'm so lonely. So, so, so lonely. Driver. Something is in there. I don't want any fucking part of it. Fuck!
Six kids bullied me. They mocked me because I was too kind. Because I'm not like everybody else. They were involved in the murder of my mother. I was able to punish five people. They wanted so much to go home to their mom and dad. Let their parents find the children on my doorstep. But what they saw, they couldn't believe their eyes. Their children were mutilated. Now they're gonna suffer just like me. Fuck. Jesus. Oh, okay. Oh. What? What is that noise? Something's moving really fast. It might be that dummy just sitting right there. I don't know. That was fucking terrifying, though. Got fucking goosebumps for days right now. Let's see. And just grab the grab the fucking lighter. That'd have been pretty nice. Ooh. Dear son, don't be afraid of death. A little too late for that. Death is rebirth. You've done a lot. A new stage has arrived. Let them think they've beat destroy them. Are we in a Slavic country? Yeah, the um all the Emeka games are usually based somewhere in Russia, I believe. Or in like Eastern Europe at best. Um And that is I I'm pretty sure because the the developer lives in Russia. Uh, Remy! Uh, ooh. Too many sour beers. I can't talk right now. I'm making piss. Well. That'll be an interesting uh, copyright flag to write about. <laughs> Thank you, Tree, for the bits. Fucking slappy from Goosebumps. <laughs> Look at him. Looks <clears throat> like something dripped right in front of me. Oh shit. Double shit. Oh boy. Ooh, you fucker. You know. Dr. Shuffle, how are we tonight? I'm, I'm doing just dandy. Here, don't be afraid. Come here. Oh. oh, shit. Trigger warning, everybody. Sorry. Okay, all right, all right, all right. All right. She's in there dancing. Fuck it. You stay in there and dance, I'm getting the fuck out of here. You can fuck off and all. Fuck. Shit, 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 shit. Are there honestly no fucking keys anywhere or bolt cutters? Well then. Oh fuck, I'm trapped. On the floor. Come on, somebody help me here. Oh. Good hiding spot. Let's not go there first. Oh, he cut out our tongue and sewed up our mouths so we didn't scream. 
We wanted us to play with him. We asked to go home, said we were sorry, but he replied that the time would come and the parents would see us again. Oh. So fucked. I wonder if the boy's still alive. Like, clearly the mother was this supposed witch. We've been dealing with her. But who's the son? Oh my god. I saw what he did to one of us. With someone who didn't have time to hide. It was terrible. He said that he would return... For us to our parents only in its form it was true this is the house of the one who kidnapped the children people found out about everything and came to deal with it foxy what's up my friend hope you're doing well nope <laughs> I don't know what fucking noise I just made for that. Almost had you. You almost did. Almost! Okay. What are we all doing in here now? I can't move. Did I read this already? I did, okay. So, I have to grab what looks like the Necronomicon. That won't be problematic. In between a sneeze, you were holding it in a jump scare. That was the sound. Fair enough. I need a lighter, a doll, and candles. In order to perform the ritual, take a doll, a book, candles, a lighter. Burn it in a circle and burn the house down. Cool. Doll, book, candles, lighter. Uh oh. Lighters over here. Doll book candle. Doll book candle. Doll book. Doll book. <laughs> These books. Probably a very specific book that I need and it hasn't told me. Look at this list again. Doll and book. Candles and a lighter I have. Doll. Real shit. I came for the jewels. I'm the killer of kings and fools. I'm the reason the season for treason starts this evening and this evening. The odds ain't even people praying to the gods, but the gods ain't even listening. Don't matter if you're Muslim, Hebrew, Christian. When death runs in the distance, there will be no mercy me's. There will be no reprieve for the thieves. There will be no respect for the thrones. No master mastered these bones. Sick. Thank you, tree. <laughs> Fucking unbelievable. I'm trying to interact with chat. Don't you see that? Alright, there's a doll. Oh, that's his actual doll, too. Can I actually open that? I can't. Okay, and now I need the book. Assuming it's going to be back this way. One of these other rooms. Book. I can't go this way. Oh. Fine. Maybe walk all the way through the creepy fucking hallway first. Maybe this other part of the basement has it? Oh. And I can't go through this door. Where is this book? It's gotta be in that room. Oh, okay. It's gotta be in the room. The book. Give me the book. 
I want the book. Oh, I had the book the whole time. I just had to approach from that side, I guess. Oh no, the doll was out there. Hi. Thank you. Is it releasing all the souls? I have no idea what you've done. Uh oh. That's not good. What the fuck is that? I need gas and I'll burn this house down. I think it's a little late for that, but I agree, we'll try. What the fuck was that? I think that was the boy grown up. Something like that. Fuck. Yeah, I think I like brought him back or gave him like powers or something like that. Either way, we're fucked. Big, big fucked. Very calm walking for it just happened. Yeah, I can't sprint. As you say, it shouldn't be anything else in here. We had that piece of paper red. Okay, this way is uh not very helpful. Where am I supposed to go? Nothing objective oriented here. I guess just get the fuck out however you can. Got this again. Yep, I read that already. Can't use the bolt cutters on that on those. Can't go upstairs. Can't go through there. That was little Macabell demon who wants to play dominoes with you. Dominoes, I don't think they have any in rural Russia though. I'm gonna say probably not. All right, so I guess I had to go back into the room because that's where like the fucking light went towards. Not walking in that circle, you can suck my ass. Form the ritual. Your son, don't be afraid. I'm trying not to be. Went at the Cuban gambling game of dominoes, yeah. Either way, good answer. <laughs> the fuck? Maybe I have to find ga this gas right there. Empty. Son of a bitch. I think I've seen other gas cans now that I think of it. Domino's is like ultimate your shit faced pizza, but you just want pizza. And it's the only place that's open that late. Oh, right here. It's empty. Great. Right? I'd be a little confused if there was gas in here, but I'm just gonna check and make sure I've looked. And in here. Okay, so nothing in this back hallway. Already checked the one that was here. Empty. Aha! Got it. Bring it all down! Loading.
I'm counting to six. Achievement unlocked. Oh, this area always goes awkwardly. Okay. Yeah, we're getting the fuck out of here. See you later. Looks like a weird graphical thing now. I'm gonna go sleep in my broken down car. Is it a kitty? Hey, kitty. Meow. Hi. A cute kitty. Oh. There's a telephone connection. The kitty's purring. Hello, rescue service. What happened to you? Hello, I see a house burning in an abandoned village. Call the fire department. I'll explain where I am now. I recently watched a blogger. He said that he did not believe in anything paranormal was in houses where, according to eyewitnesses, something was happening. But he didn't find any evidence until one day he arrived in an abandoned pioneer camp. To be honest, I didn't believe him. I thought that everything he filmed was staged. But now, after everything I've seen and experienced, I realize that the world is not as simple as it seems. And we are not alone. Entities are always nearby, and until you see it for yourself, you won't believe it. I don't know why I decided on this ritual. I wanted to run, but something inside me demanded to put an end to all this. As a result, I realized that I was in this place for a reason, but I have no idea what lies ahead for me. So this is tied in with his, um, his bits. That blogger they're talking about is the blogger that you are in, um, uh, Summer of 58. And I think locked out. I think that's the same person. Um, definitely gonna be in uh from day to day because that's supposed to be the direct sequel to summer 58 interesting this one is also tied into that universe i would assume awesome that was good another fucking fantastic game from emeka alexander reshetnikov fucking respect Lists out the 3D models and animations, you know, because people do care. Oh, just Tom Cook did the voices again. And also free sound in another one. Chica Hara did translation into Spanish. Uh, Fabio Luis Benara did the translation to Portuguese. It was good. Yeah. I love how we can tie all the games together. Yeah, almost all of them are. There's one that wasn't. Because it's a Turkish outro soundtrack. We slack alive. Yeah, the um, September 7th, he made as like a side thing, completely unrelated to the story. But September 7th was real good. I'd say this one was, um, this one was probably more middle of the pack, maybe the higher end of the middle of the pack, if that makes sense. But um, real, real good Emeka game. I have no complaints. Um, maybe some small boundary things here and there to be like, I kind of like, I, I was a little bummed they didn't have the typical press tab to see your objective. Because I think that would have been helpful at the end. Because I was trying, I thought I had to get out. And then find like gas outside. But then I remembered like, oh no, there's gas tanks here. And then I found that first one. That was a great word. Did you both the jug and the dev? Yeah. Number 7th was so good. Yes, agreed. So, uh, there we have it. We're back to speed with the Emika games. It was... Very, very well done. I was very happy. And um, I will continue to play Emeka games and Ass games and Just Tom Cut games. Anybody that's affiliated with Emeka, like, that's, that's chill with me. Now, that's going to do it. For I'm counting this six. Which was definitely a fun one. How did I do in the achievements? I didn't even fucking look. Let's see. By the way, that took an hour and a half, 89 minutes, hour and a half. So if I wanted to be a dickhead, I would return it but I, or refund it. I'm not going to do that. Um, and I got all the achievements. I don't think there's anything super crazy about it. They didn't have like any explanation as to what they meant. But um, yeah, all six of them were completed. Cool. Okay. So... We're going to move upward and onward. Another game called 
six nights to die. I'm gonna go click on the branded content button. GG's. So six nights to die. I'll read you the synopsis rather than me just like paraphrasing what I've already read. That'd be a smarter uh, decision. So six nights to die is a first person psychological horror game. You are Karen, a barmaid. You will have to investigate what are the strange happenings that are going on in the bar where you work while doing your daily work. And uh, this just came out today. Um, well, yeah, so it's still February 1st where I am, but it came out February 1st, 2024. Um, there seems to only be one review so f no, two reviews so far, but neither of them are in English. Um, someone did a pre release review, product received for free. I they gave it a thumbs up. Uh, it looks like that might be in Spanish, and another one. Um, they gave it a thumbs up. I think that's German. It looks very German. Richtig. And Kutas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, cool. So, yeah. Awesome. So, not many people have done the reviews so far, but both of them were good. I don't know what they said. They're very short and sweet. Uh, this is from Vania, Vania Studios. They have another game, apparently, that came out uh, a little over a year ago, January 25th, 2023, called The Madness of Death, which is a first-person psychological horror game. Explore the house in order to escape from it and break the curse of the Death Stone. You'll have to solve the puzzles in order to advance and try not to stay in the dark. Interesting. And uh, who's played that? Well, I know apparently Jam owns it, Scaredy owns it, and Soup owns it. But I don't think they reviewed it. But that one is uh, a mostly positive 70% of 17 reviews. Okay, cool. I forgot I added that emote. Noise. <laughs> All right, so let's get this uh, started up. Six Nights to Die. Okay, let's go play. And uh, a quick shout out to Keymailer, um, hooking me up with the key for this game. Always appreciate them. It's fine. Okay. Yep. Uh huh. Set controls. Wazd. Uh, pick select as E. Inventories tab. Run as shift. Sounds good to me. And uh, that's the only options that we have. Very basic. I've reviewed it, but never played it. Want beans? Oh, shit. Now playing Focus on Love by... So hopefully this... Uh... Actually, you know what? Let me turn the volume down on the music just to avoid issues. That's better. Okay. Ooh. Cocktail. Margarita, one tequila. Half triple sec. Lemon juice, crushed ice. Margarita beer. We have a cosmopolitan. We have a gin tonic, a bloody mary, a tequila tequila batanga. One tequila, lemon juice, cola, and crushed ice. That sounds good. Tom Collins. And a cold Samantha. Two rums, coffee, milk, crushed ice. And it's coffee. We have latte, cold coffee, and Irish coffee. Okay. Cold beer, vodka, tequila, whiskey. I'm drunk and you're insane. Who's going to lead us home? <laughs> what the fuck? Drink like a sag mast. That means. Hey, give me a second, boss. All right, we got we got some black ale. We got the, uh, the, the poor bock. We got like straight up ale and we got uh ultra shot the best maximum quality lager let's go 
Flicker's house. Oh, is this the office back here? I can't go in there. I feel like I'm very short. Maybe this is just a very high window. I guess. Isn't that one ghost hunter game, not Faz, where you have a thermal camera? The pint mare. <laughs> Joss. All right, Karen, let's see what you can do. I want you to pour me a lager. Lager beer. Oh, see what the orders are. I have to take a glass. Oh. With the lager, we'll put it here. Boom. Pretty simple. Listen, that is my height at the bar. You better stop. <sighs> oh. Delivery area. Got it. Now you're going to make me a cocktail. I want a gin tonic. Okay. Yeah, so we'll look, even though it'll tell me what to do. So a gin and tonic is one gin, one tonic, and ice. Beefed, beefed feeder. <laughs> Pour a portion with the measuring cup. Okay. That's one measure. Yeah, one gin. And that must be the half. One gin. Tonic and ice. Add it to the shaker. Take a tonic. Oh. Oh, that's ice. Okay. I thought it was like salt or something. That's a gin and tonic. We take it. Uh, we apparently shook it and put it right in a glass real easy. I see you know what you're doing. Lastly, make me a latte. What's going on with you, dude? Uh, okay. Rope, what's up, my dude? Is that a shot glass? People take shots of lager? I guess so. He looks funny. He looks like there's an aura around him of some sort. Anyways, you grab a cup. He wants a latte. It's coffee and milk. Wait for the coffee to brew. Go grab some milk, which I think is right here. Looks like it at least. Take the coffee. This coffee in the coffee brewing area? Okay. Take the milk contain. But that's the milk. Place the milk container in the frother. Froth oh. Take the milk. Ah. Wait until the milk is finished steaming. He said too many spirits. Oh boy. Fucking shuffle. Steamed milk. Mix, mix the steamed milk with the coffee. Deliver the drink. Where's Joss? I would have I would have to find him. It was just here. Why is it dark in here? Hello? Wake up, buddy. Hello? Thanks. Give me fucking shivers during the fucking tutorial. Oh, hi. So I think he got taken or something. My name is Karen. I'm a 26-year-old girl. I've been working in a bar for the past four years. Recently, my boss, Joss, had to go on a business trip since then I had been running the bar. A few days ago, I started having nightmares at night and I can't sleep well. That sucks. So the 18th of June. Find the cell phone. Holy shit, we have legs? Just a bad dream. Oh, I better get up. I've got to get to work. Can't see my legs. Where is my cell phone? There it is. Also, are there any achievements in this game? I always... There are ten. Uh, you finished the tutorial. I did not get that. Uh, yeah, nothing crazy. It's basically, just like play the game. It looks like mostly. Get the key to go to the bar.
Wait a minute. This looks familiar. This looks like a, uh, no, all right, not, no, it does kind of. This kind of reminds me of one of the, uh, Chilla's art houses. I think. Go to the bar. I hate that I have to, I have to hold E to open it. Not a big fan of that. Uh, let's close the door. Go sleep, gang. Hell yeah. Oh, can't open that one, I see. All right. Triple X every day. Let's go. Pizza. Drugs. Bar, we're open 24-7. But Kunamwa Bridal is right next door. Oh my. I want to see what the rest of this town has. We've got a pizza place that is not open for sure. We've got a hotel. We have an Indian restaurant, Ingan. Not too sure where that is. Another sex shop around the corner. No, I know what this is. This is the area of... Um, the telephone. I remember this now. Yeah. Interesting. It was much darker here, though, that's for sure. Hey, look, another bar. Maybe this is the bar I need? Oh. Guess it was that first bar then, and I'm just wasting all of our time. Here's the bar. Fuck. Oh. Six nights. Ah, uh, that's what they called it. Oh, and I can't get through that way either. So, I, so going all the way around was actually necessary. Okay. Good to know. But I've made it. I've made it to work. The lights are off. I have to turn on the general power to have light. I better turn on the phone flashlight so I can see something. Tab. Click. Fucking sucks. And power. Oh, I found it. Cynthia. What's up, my friend? Leave the phone in the locker. Bathroom. Must be the guy's room. Yeah, okay. Locker. Must be back here. Why, yes, I am snooping. You never know you can find some fun shit. That's locked. Okay. Open the front door to start the service. Or... Bars off the grid, sus. I'm just staring up at the rain. Cool. Yo, what up, homies? Hopefully this music is all chill. What up, dog? Hello, good evening. I'd like to order some drinks. Sure, with pleasure. What drink would you like? I'd like a margarita for my wife and a black beer for me. I'll make a few right away. Okay, so it was a uh, black beer. Get him that first. And a margarita. Boom. 
And the margarita is so we could take one glass. Uh, one. To, oh wait, no, no, no. If I drop this, let's just worry about what's up here. Uh, one tequila. I need to find tequila. Oh, right here. That one I got. Okay, tequila, and we have a full tequila. One tequila. We need a half a triple sec. Half a triple sec. Lemon juice. Oh, lemon juice. Uh, lager beer and crushed ice. Okay, I'll just do this. A margarita, that's my wife. Then I slugged him. Margarita's trying to get pregnant. Real. Oh, wait, it's margarita beer. What am I doing? Shit. I need crushed ice. <laughs> I almost fucked that up. I almost dumped a lager beer into a margarita. Crushed ice. Get a margarita. Oh boy. You gonna fucking pay me or what? No? Okay, that's cool. Thanks, ponytail. Hey, not too bad. See? Take care of customers. Oh, we got two more coming in. Welcome in, everybody. What's up, my guy? What can I get you? Good night, Steve. What can I get you? Give me two coffees. A special way? One black and one iced. Okay, two coffees coming up. One black and one iced. Um. Oh, okay, yeah, it's coffee and ice. That's sort of it. There is hot one. Uh, I have to probably put it into the coffee. Yeah, because you put the coffee area, then puts it in. Got it. Get the coffee. Go ahead and put some ice. Here's your iced coffee. Thanks, Steve. What else is in here? Beer bottle. Got the milk. Soda. I think this is tonic. Cola. Okay. Cranberry, orange, lemon, tomato. And this must be, yep, Tabasco. Perfect. My guy with the two different colored eyes. He's got the fucking... Sick ass vest on. This dude's ready to fucking throw down. I can't. Can I get a beer, please? Sure. What kind of beer do you prefer? I'd like a lager, please. Perfect, Mike. Do you want anything else? Yeah. Pour me a Bloody Mary for Paul. So a Bloody Mary and a lager. Got to put it on right away. Lager beer and Bloody Mary. Lager beer. People are into this lager, I guess. Sorry. Well, technically, if someone's into. The Black beer as well. All right, there's your lager beer. Now I gotta make you a uh, Bloody Mary. That's one and a half vodkas. One and a half, so one measure of that. One half a measure. 0.5. Need some tomato juice. You need a uh, Tabasco. Need lemon juice. And ice. Bloody Mary. Here you go. Hope you have a, do you have a back? Oh, you don't have a back, uh, back patch. That'd be cool as fuck. That dude definitely fucking throws down in the pit, though. This is nice. Oh, this is a horror game. 
If we were busy, it'd kind of be a horror game. Doing all right. Oh, my phone slid off the charger. Well, hello. Hi, how can I help you? Hi, Karen. Could you bring me two bottles of beer, please? Okay, what else can I get you? I'll take like a Cosmopolitan. That's perfect. Two bottles of beer and a Cosmopolitan. Anything else? No, it's all for now. Thank you. Back to the order. All right, two bottles of beer. One, there's two, and a Cosmopolitan. That's 1.5 vodkas. Uh, half a triple sack. Uh, we got lemon juice, cranberry juice, lemon juice, cranberry juice, regular ice. Yeah. Damn. Thank you, Shuffle, for the bits. Fuck. Osmo, oh, they fancy. Hell yeah. It's closing time. Everyone, fuck off. That We were only open for like an hour. If that. All right. Clean the tables. I'm on it. Oh, my God. Need a mop? Oh. Shuffle, how dare. <laughs> Morning jugs. Scared my cat, Shuffle. Rude. Oh, there's the mop. Night. Night. That's not a mop. That's a mop. This is a rag. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's That's one table cleaned. They said the game didn't have enough horror. Uh, yeah, I guess I walked on that one, huh? Good. That one's good. And we got two more tables here. Uh... Must be another table. Oh, the billiards table, sure. Look fucking messy. Pick up the phone and go home. Yep, yep. On my way. Next day, 19th of Just stood there for a second. I uh, think you go to the bar. Is that like just another day at the old office? You know what I'm saying? Not really an office. It's it's a bar. You know, it's my place of work, and I enjoy it. So before I go that way, which is the correct way to go, I just wanted around this corner. I cannot. I definitely can't go in here. Cool. All right. So this is supposed to be a dead end. Ah. Oh. Ba 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 ba. Wonder how many cosmopolitans we're gonna be making today. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Ooh. Oh, you shit, excuse me. I came out of nowhere. Nice for her to live so close to work. Hell yeah. That's a real, real big, real big part of life is if you're, if you're able to get a good job and it's close to you, fucking awesome. All right. Made it to work. Did I leave the lights on yesterday? Yeah, I guess so. Move your phone and leave it in the locker. My bad, whatever. Hello?
First off, go fuck yourself. Oh, I can't do that yet. Okay, what? Evening, Karen. Hi, Joss. How was your trip? Well, I arrived this afternoon. How is everything here? Very well. I was able to take the bar without any problems. I'm glad. I want to talk to you tomorrow so you can give me all the details. But now I'm going home. I'm tired. You take care of everything. Hey, Joss. Tomorrow if you want to talk. Right? And the front door to start the service. Joss, why don't you head home before everyone shows up? Go home. I think he'd actually leave. Well, well, well. Laura, good evening, Karen. Hi, Laura. It's been a long time. How's everything going? Well, I've been very busy and tired lately. Well, we have the drink. Like, oh, not even going to ask. Just give it to me the drink. I'll have two coffees. One ice and one latte. God, we want to make them for you. One ice and one latte. Coming up. We'll give him the iced one first. That's the easy one. There's your iced coffee. Frost up my milk. Go. That is a latte. Take it easy. Ah. Uh, eat. This job rules. I know how to make everything on the on the menu already. I can open. I can close. Ah, uh, good evening, ladies. Welcome in. How can we help you tonight? Good evening, how can I help you? Good evening, I'm very hot. Could you give me an ale beer? Sure, anything else? Yes, we'd like to try a Tom Collins. Perfect, a beer and a Tom Collins. Who wants an ale and a Tom Collins? What are you looking at? That and a Tom Collins 1.5 gin. Oh, it's here. Yeah. 1.5 gin. The lemon juice. Then we need uh, soda and ice. Soda. Soda. Ice. Here's your Tom Collins. Enjoy. Simple. Easiest fucking job I've ever had. Sure, the cleanup kind of sucks sometimes, but... It's all good. What are you still doing here? Go the fuck home. Well, hello, sir. Welcome in. Uh, welcome to you too. I wanted to see your fucking ID if you're going to get up here. Hi, how's the night going? Good night. So far, it's been a quiet night. I'm glad I could use a bottle of beer, and Amanda wanted to try the margarita beer because, of course, Amanda would. <laughs> bottle of beer and a margarita beer. What's scary about this? I don't know. Nothing's happened yet. I've been mean, having bad dreams, but that's it. A business owner never leaves. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you need a margarita beer. That is one tequila. One tequila. And half a triple sec. Lemon juice. And the lager beer. The lager beer is in, and we need crushed ice. Mm. 
Margarita beer. Scary part is working for tips with no benefits. <laughs> Later on, she trips and gets hurt and then has to deal with American health care. <laughs> That's the real nightmare. Got too fucking real in my... Am I right? Apple cider. Don't forget about the apple cider. Oh, welcome in, my friends. Hello, sir, with your corduroy shirt. Miss uh, Marilyn Monroe wannabe. Sophie is her name. Good evening, Karen. Good evening, Sophie. Just back from his trip yet? Yes, he came back today, but he was tired and went home. No, he didn't. I'll see him when he's at work. Give me a batanga and a coffee. Sure, I'll get it ready for you. What kind of fucking coffee? Just a, oh, just coffee, coffee? All right. That's coming right up. And a batanga. Batanga. Oh, tequila batanga. Okay. I'm like, what is going on here? There you go. Okay, so the tequila batanga is one tequila. And lemon juice. And cola. Crushed ice. Got our health care. There it is. Enjoy, Sophie. That's your real name. Yeah, no, Sophie, he's actually over here, even though we're closing. Get out. Sorry, bye. Oh, now he's gone. I right, throw out the garbage. All three bags at once. That's how we roll. Gotta be a dumpster around here somewhere. Aha! Uh -huh. I have to select another one. Okay. Get the phone and go home. We'll do... Power's off. Oh, uh, what was that? I have to turn it on. I get the phone to light up. Uh, yeah, there was someone with red eyes right there. That wasn't fun at all. I mean, after you close, they're still banging on the door. Yeah. 100% avoiding Sophie. Or... Hello? A few days later. Those eyes were sussy. Oh, yeah. Find the cell phone. It's the same spot I always leave it. The key's always right where I leave it. Going to the bar. Almost forgot to take the turn. <laughs> okay, so it's another day, you know, and uh, something weird happened the last shift. Had a few days to just chill out, a couple off days, got some uh, got some busy work done, and some errands, and what's going on here? Hey, Heavy. Yeah. Be doing well, my guy. I have to find another way to get to my place of work. What is this? Ah, uh, Joss. Joss, you're right. What are you doing here? Oh, fuck. 
wait, that was somebody else. That was, uh, we were Peter. That wasn't even Karen. What a nightmare. It seemed to be like, I can't go on sleeping like this. But it, I wasn't Karen. It said that I was Peter. Either I'm dreaming of people being murdered and it's legitimately happening. Or I'm just a really weird dreamer. <laughs> that seems not ideal. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, now it sounds again like I walk outside and I hear the immediate um, ambience of being outside in a not very crowded, busy city alleyway. <laughs> very Tarkov. Yes. And okay, so the gate's open. Yeah. It was weird with that room, we'll say. Now we can actually get to work. Get some shit done. Does it say what city this is? Uh no, I don't believe so. Oh wait, that was a sex shop. Not claiming edge. Yeah, there's actually two of them in this neighborhood, I think, if not three. All right, it's the 22nd of June. The lights are on. Joss must have come in. Yeah, or the lights just, you know, only go out when you leave. Talk to Joss. What up, Joss? Good night, Joss. Night. Darkness is always here. You say about the dark? Are you okay, Joss? Of course I'm okay. I've never been better. Now I understand I see the stench that surrounds us. You're not making sense, Joss. I think you better go home and get some rest. But, uh, equip your phone and leave it in the locker. Yeah, well, you know, where I could hold on to it and use it in case of an emergency. But, no, we ain't gonna do that. Fuck, wanna move there? <laughs> Alright, time to start the evening. Oh, he's gone this time. Well, good. Hello, welcome in, everybody. Hope you're doing well. What can I get you? Hey, Karen. Evening, Martha. What can I give you? Give me a coffee. I'll see if I can't get it out of my head. All right, anything else? You'll have a cosmopolitan and a black beer. All right, so right away. Let's check. Just a coffee and a black beer. We'll do the coffee... Black beer. Coffee. Black beer and... Yogurt. Joss be like. Darkness imprisoning me all that I see. Absolute horror. I cannot live. I cannot die. Trapped in myself. Body. My holding cell. Landmine has taken my sight. Taken my speech. Taken my hearing. Taken my arms. Taken my legs. Taken my soul. Left me with life in hell. <laughs> For real though. Cranberry juice. And just regular ice. And there's your Cosmo. Thank you. Take care of customers. Brother, we are. Can I turn this on without putting anything there? Yeah, but nothing comes out. Ah, <laughs> uh, good evening, everybody. Welcome in. <clears throat> You've quite the uh, the walk. What can I uh, get for you? Evening, Karen. Hi. It's really hot in here. The air conditioning is on full blast. I'll have someone come and check it. Well, give me something cool—a gin and tonic and a bottle of beer. Get a few right away. Jeez. Just, well, here's your bottle of beer. Suck that down. We'll get you a gin and tonic. It's one gin, tonic, and ice. Yeah, pretty easy. One gin. Uh, tonic. And ice. Get out of here. Fuck you. Weird fucking haircut. Oh, 
Okay. Now he's going to wait for another customer to come in. Ah, right on try. Right on, uh, right on time. Right on trime. Okay, that's a word. What's up, my guy? Hi, my name is Mark Parker. I was looking for Joss. Hi, Mark. I'm Karen. Joss isn't here right now. He wasn't feeling well and went home. It's important that I talk to him. My brother hired him to find something in Columbia. It could be very dangerous. Could you leave him a message that I've been here? I will give him a message that you are looking for him. Thank you very much. It is important that he does not open the box under any circumstance. Oh, boy. I will, I will tell him that, too. See you later. Bye, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Of course, that motherfucker's gone now. I think it's just about closing time. I'm loving watching Jug progressively get more irritated at the customer. Well, that's just kind of how, kind of how I go. <laughs> oh, check it out. We got fucking Vin Diesel up in this bitch. Yo, Mr. Diesel, nice new ink on the side of your skull. Welcome in. Hi, Karen. Who is who is that just leaving? I, I don't know. I was asking uh, I was asking for Joss. Joss isn't here? No, he was feeling weird and he went home. He must have come for some of Joss's business. Most likely. Did I get you something? Give me a latte and an Irish coffee. Put right up. Ooh. Oh, man. Oh, right. I'm like, that's not working. Alright. Irish coffee is one whiskey and a coffee. That. <laughs> Jack Black. <laughs> There you go, my guy. Joy. Ah, uh, man, this job is easy. Pour drinks so fast over here. Those heads fucking spin. You get any more customers tonight? It's been a pretty well, uh, well paced this evening. I gotta say the best thing about me, uh, me being a bartender is never a line. Closing time. Okay. Check. Uh, clean the sink floor. Sink floor. Yes. That means you must be in the bathroom. Talking about. Oh. in the bathroom question is which one oof that toilet disappears moving along maybe it's in the next Bathroom. Sink floor. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's time, baby. Wheeler. What's up, my friend? Welcome in. Boise, Boise. Welcome in. I don't want to like take the reins here. Oh, you don't? Oh, boy. <laughs> no, I just want us to have a plan. If someone else has a plan, like it works. Welcome in, everybody. We played together, and I haven't heard silence yet. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you're all doing a shwell. Like coordination. No, that's fine. Let me no shit. Fun. What are, uh, what, what were you silence playing today? The defeat and shame. Mm, wow, this is uh. This is I mean, you're not experience. wrong. You've also died first every round, which is also kind of the sound of silence and shame. Yeah, but last map we played, I carried. I was top of leaderboard with most kills, most assists, and least death. Bit of Warzone dub with guard Jesus. Kyle and Toko. Nice. Love to see it. We'll take your word for it. Appreciate it. my boys. 
Okay. Still okay. <laughs> Fucking shit. Nah, it's all right. Oh. Did it. Uh oh, no. I'm it gonna was... plant. I announced our big match campaign for February. Nice. Investigate what's going on. TP? Holy fuck! Okay. I'll wait for the thing to end here. Oh, really? What the fuck? What? Did you see that shit? Yeah. That scared me. I'm just looking off tab. Yo, what's up, Mickey? Hope you're doing well, my friend. What happened here? Now I have to clean up this mess. That's what you're concerned with, Karen? Not the fact this stool just fucking flew across the room at me? Or at us? You? Something? Get the mop. Yeah, are we actually calling it a mop this time? We are. That's great. Clean the bar. Uh... Bar was just trashed. I better clean the toilets and go home. That's... What we, uh... In there and we'll just uh we'll, we'll we'll clean up yep here we go one two a three get a bucket and a mop oh boy christ <laughs> so uh yeah wheeler we're playing a game called uh six days or six nights to die uh, it is a bartender simulator with some horror elements in it. So far, the horror is just slowly starting to pick up, but like, there's some good spots there for sure. Pick up the phone and go home. Oh, fuck. Okay. Why do the lights look red? I'm gonna check the switch, see what's going on. Doesn't make sense. I can't turn the lights off. I'm gonna go home and check. Close and check it tomorrow, Joss. <laughs> oh no! Oh, that fucking hurt. What was that? I think I'm hallucinating. Yeah, that's that's what's happening. You're fucking hallucinating. Uh huh. D for the minor heart attack. Yeah, you're welcome. Give me my fucking phone. I'm getting out of here. Okay, what day is it now? Oh no. Uh, it's day. D. E. Yep. Go. Oh. To get back to work, even though the door to the street is closed. What's going on here? Oh, fuck no. Shit, shit, shit. Fuck. Leave me alone. <laughs> That's fucking me. Jackass. I get so much joy from watching you suffer these games. I think I might need more therapy. <laughs> you need more therapy for both of us. Jesus Christ. That's why I'm like, yeah, I'm like, the, the game's just starting to fucking, you know, really kick into gear. This is nice. And then immediately, not nice. I wonder if we actually just have six different shifts. Because if so, I think we're on shift number four. Or we're heading to four. The achievements haven't been popping off. So I'm assuming once they close the game, they'll, all the ones that I've got will just pop off. Eh. The ghost is lucky he didn't fucking taser him. Huh. Alright, we're back at Six Nights Bar. We are ready to throw down on the 23rd of June. Lights are on. Joss must have come in. We sure again? Woohoo! Sugar, thank you so much for the gift of sub to Arco. I'm sure Arco is going to be very appreciative. 
Very kind of you. Strange, Josh isn't here. Okay, then. We'll just uh, put our shit away and get to work, I guess. In the front door to start the service. How do I get to work? All right, I'm gonna take care of our customers. Ooh, this already. Oh, is this Sophie again? You Sophie? It is. Hi Sophie. Good evening. I work I do for you. Well, I'd like two beers. Any special beers? Yes, yeah, so like a lager and a bock. Very good. Anything else? Yeah, I'd like to try a Bloody Mary. One Bloody Mary coming up. Oops. Okay, uh, we need a Bach and a Lager. Here's your Bach. Here is your Lager. And finally, a uh, Bloody Mary. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ that oh wasn't it fucking sleeving himself wolf mans uh what am i doing again a bloody mary tomato juice and tabasco tabasco lemon juice and ice a bloody mary that should be it. Yes. Now leave. Arco is lurking, but I see you, BB. <laughs> Thank you for the bits, Wolfmans, by the way. We won in your honor this evening at Trivia. I guess the next one is Taylor Swift. Trivia. Oh, here's Weird Walker again. Wow, 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 wow. Bam 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 bam. Look at my mullet. Bam bam bam. Hi Monica. Hi Karen. I haven't seen Joss for a long time. Is something wrong? He has been feeling well since he got back from his trip. Poor thing. Let's see if he recovers. Would you get me an iced coffee and a Tom Collins? Yeah, sure. I'll put it on now. Iced coffee. Tom Collins. Tom Collins is one and a half gin. Okay, here's our coffee, and we just need to add ice. Go. Uh, so Tom Collins has the gin in it already. We need lemon juice. We need soda. This one, I think. Yep. Oh, nice. That's a make a Tom Collins. Such a weird, sultry walk. Yeah. Gliding. Everyone being good to each other? Yeah. Hopefully this uh, music is A, not DMCA'd, or like, like copywritten. Two... Hopefully it's quiet enough so it doesn't just mute the entire fucking VOD. That would suck. Good evening. Are you closing soon? It's not well before closing. Although I didn't want I didn't want to go home too late. You give me a cold Samantha and an ale. This for you right away. Cold Samantha and an ale. Okay. Oh. Get that ale popping over here for you. As for cold Samantha, that is two rums. Coffee and milk. Oh, the beer. There you go. Here's coffee.
Gotta froth up that milk, of course. Old Samantha, and here I am. Got milk, yeah, I'm a dummy. All right, so that's the coffee and milk right into there. Nope, that was the wrong thing to do. Fuck. <laughs> Just pour the coffee right in there. Coffee. Look. Two rum and coffee. Milk. Okay, there we go. And crushed ice. Oh, you can't really hear the music? Okay, good. And you called Samantha. What took you so fucking long? I hate you. You're the worst bartender ever. And I'm like, yeah, I know. You have a lovely even. Is she barefoot? Let me get a... Boneless pizza with a two liter of boneless pizza. Closing time. Get the fuck out. Refill the coolers. Brother. I see. So the beer goes. Got the canned stuff. Got the sodies, the sody pops. What's the power zone? I have to turn it on. I better get the phone to light up. Hello? Fuck, don't jump scare me again. I just want to get my job done and leave. Okay. The colas are next. Last but not least, Onyx. All right. Pick up the phone and go home. Hell yeah, brother. Oops, took a latte with me. What was that scream? I better see what's going on. Th that was not a scream. At least they got the ungrateful attitude of customers down. That's true. Now I gotta go fucking see what the hell's going on over here. Fucking terrible idea. I don't get paid enough to deal with this shit. We have been in the woman's room. Oh, shit. Joss is dead. Power. Where's the fucking power? Get out of here right now. Yep, we out. Time to go. Door is locked. I have to go out the back door. Fuck. The door won't open. It seems to be jammed with something. The fuck you killed Joss for? I didn't kill Joss. I was just cleaning up. Like a dude ralphing. I think it's approaching. I better block the storage door. <laughs> But I don't open this door, I don't know what's on the other side. Oh, never mind. Fuck you. Lock the storm room door. Jesus fuck.
another fucking nightmare. I can't go on like this. It's driving me crazy. That didn't feel like a dream to me. All right. <sighs> fucking tr back to work. <laughs> fucking bastard. All right. So we're going to go back to work. I th Hello? Can I help you? That man was inside the wall. Eesh. Okay. Anyways, back to work I go. Where nothing strange is going to happen. Hello? Can I help you? Yeah, that's what I fucking thought. He just closed his eyes. <laughs> All right, we're back at Six Nights Bar with your host, Karen, the bartender, 24th of June. Looks like Joss didn't show up. Uh, yeah, we dreamt he's dead, so he was might actually be. He ain't there anymore. Okay. I'm gonna go leave my phone in the locker. All right. I'm gonna get to work. Doing pretty good so far. I gotta say I'm a pretty good bartender. So it's been working out pretty well for me. I just get scared shitless over dumb shit now. Hello, welcome in, Ivan Drago. How are you doing? Oh. Hello? Can I get you something to drink? Uh, okay. Hello? Cold Samantha? Apparently there's a cold Samantha on the thing here. So cold Samantha is two rums. Don't worry, I'm gonna get you a drink. I'm assuming that's what you want. There's one. There's two. We need the coffee and the milk. Here's the coffee. Milk. Coffee. Brushed ice. Is that evil Uno? Maybe. A cold Samantha. Enjoy. No. Hello, are you okay? You know, like a different kind of Ouija board? No, he's a professional wrestler. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm fine. What happened? I don't know. You just stared at the door and didn't react. Excuse me, I'm not feeling too well. Can I get you something? We'd like to have a latte and an Irish coffee. Wait a moment, and I'll get it to you. Okay. So, a latte. Nice and loud noise that is. Mm. Okay. Here is your latte. And you also wanted the Irish coffee, which is just whiskey and coffee. Coffee maker. Pop that there. And the whiskey is right in front of me. And here you are. Irish whiskey. Have a good one.
That was weird. <clears throat> I can lightly hear the music. Rest, I just had that fucking drink on me. When did you get here? Oh, hi, Mark. Hi, Karen. Could you could you give Joss my message? Good evening. I've been able to for a few days, and he hasn't been answering his phone. I'm worried about him. You haven't heard from him for days? Yes, I'm having nightmares and weird hallucinations. I think Joss has opened the box. I need to I need to know which stone it is. Close the bar when you can. Tomorrow night, we'll meet at the door. I will, because I'm not feeling well. I think it's amulet. It might come in handy. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you very much, Mark. See you tomorrow. Thanks. Ah. Okay. Taking everybody out. We done? Hello? Ah, we got these we got these jabrones in here again. We got the fucking the metalhead guy with the two different colored eyes. That looks like Andy Sandberg went to prison. Hi, Karen. Hi, Mike. You look happy today. I think we're going to have a good night tonight. You don't look so good. I'm a little tired, but I'm fine. Would you, would you like to drink? Sure, pour me a Cosmopolitan, a Tom Collins, and to quench my thirst, a lager. What the? I'll get right on it. All right, so let's do the lager first. Take that off. And then he also wants... Tom Collins, which is one and a half G. Lemon juice. Soda and ice. Here's your Tom Collins. Here's your lager. You just want a Cosmopolitan as well. There's one and a half of vodkas. Half a triple sack. Lemon juice and cranberry juice. And ice. And your Cosmo. That should do it. A fucking machine. Oh. Come on in, everybody. We're open for a little bit longer, and I got plenty of booze back here to sell. Who else? Who else is coming in? Oh, it's closing time. Great. Clean the sink floor. I think they mean the bathroom floor. Here's the mop. Okay, no other spots in this? Oh. Only those two spots, so the other five are going to be in this room. There is a key. Key to Joss's office, I should get it. Well, alright, I gotta keep fucking cleaning here. It's not gonna let me keep cleaning, I see. Alright, that's fine. And we will go to Joss's office first. On priority. Always wanted to go back here. Oh shit, this is where the room was. Oh. Flashlight. Telephone. Nothing. Flashlight, I guess. Oh. Gas station coin? Find where to use the coin. Oh, this thing over here, I bet. Yeah, looks like a Texaco. 
What the fuck? Oh boy. Oh shit. Fuck. Joss, what were you doing? Oh, he opened the box. Oh, fuck. It's the box Mark was talking about. As he said, it's open. And the outside is smudged. The circle. Big out of the bar immediately. Uh-oh. Hey, Joss. How's it going, bud? I was uh, looking for you, and I found your key. Joss, what the hell's going on here? This is crazy. Crazy? No, the madness is the madness of death. We're free here. What are you saying? I don't know what you've done, but we have to get out of here. I'm not going anywhere, and you're staying with me. What? Huh? Where'd he go? Fuck it. Oh shit. Oh shit. Twenty-fifth of June. <clears throat> Karen doesn't seem to be here. I better go into the bar and look for her. Oh, so now we're Mark. Oh no. Door's locked. I have to find some way in. Gonna go around back. Climb the fence. Smart. In this case, is why you shouldn't do math. Yes. I like the bar. This time I come prepared. How prepared do you think you are? Oh, hi, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. Thank you, Shuffle, for the biddies. What the fuck? Is that is that Karen? Damn, I'm too late. She's already possessed. I have to find a way to contain the stone. Oh shit! Is there a way to cont Oh, go get the box, dummy. What a ding dong opening up this fucking box. It looks like the circle of protection is broken. With red paint, I could fix it. Oh. Right there. Fix this shit. Hello? Red paint. This should be enough to contain it. Now I have to find the stone. I know where the fucking stone is. It's up here, but shouldn't I bring the box to the stone? Karen was wearing leggings, though. Oh, that's right. It... Hello? Hey, hey, hey! It looks like it's al it looks like it's alive. Karen, wake up. Oh, she's getting up. Rock. Are you okay, Karen? Guess I'm fine. I think the amulet you gave me saved me. 
I'm gonna contain the stone. When I pick it up, the entity will come for me. Stay here, you will be safe. Fuck, okay. Mark 25th of June. Oh god. Get a fucking. Oh fuck! Oh shit, I didn't see that one. Hey Jugs, wanna hear a joke? What's the difference between me and cancer? My dad didn't beat cancer. Oh shit. That's rough. Alright, so you'll come in here. And I'm gonna take you all the way to the left, and I'm gonna go like this. Oh. Can I hide in there? That might be the play. How did he not see me? Okay, we go for it. Fuck! Yep, fuck you. We got this. We got this. We got this. The box is right there. We can do this. We can do this. Come on, baby. Got him. Not gonna take that with me. Eh, it's probably a good idea. Joss, you can have it, dude. But uh, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Dapper for a demon. True. Game brain. Yeah. Lights are on. Get out of the bar, then. And his name is John C. <laughs> Right as I open the fucking door. Hello? Oh, that's it. Okay. Damn. Alright, that was pretty good. I liked that, uh... I like where that game went. That was fun. The developer was Juan Jose Gonzalez. He did a good job. A little bit of weird loading time on each day, but still good. Uh, they used the, the asset store with Unity and also Mixamo. Same with the music SFX. Free, oh, freesound.org is a good site. And then, of course, the asset store for Unity. GG's all around. We survived. A bunch of more music uh, shout outs. Even more music. Life's at a Creative Commons attribution. Okay, we should be fine then. Thanks for playing. GG Jug, you are all elite. I'm all elite? That's cool. Rough. Rough. Thank you. Place the box next to the other box. Oh, this is the house from his first game. Because I recognize the picture. What the fuck was that, though? Where's the other box? Oh, right here. Okay. I've been able to get two of the stones. I'm only missing two more. I'm closer to finding my brother. All right, so I gotta play this stuff. Uh, the other game he had then, because that seems to be a connection. Interesting. Hated that. This is why I can't be here, <laughs> bruv. Yeah, just to get you a little, little at the end. Nothing too crazy though. Well, holy shit, we did it. That game was actually really fun. I did enjoy that. It's I like it's. It, it followed along a similar thing. This is, again, me and Ox had a good conversation earlier yesterday about video games. And um, he was like, this, uh, I explained this game to him. And he's like, it kind of reminds me of like the night, sh not, I think it was Night Shift. Um, there's all the achievements. Uh, Coxler. 
Um, but we were basically discussing like I um, have some kinks that I want to like share with you so we can like do these things. Yep. Okay, and they're like, I have a foot pad. Guy heavy. <laughs> so uh Yeah, it was we were just discussing how like so there's some chilla games that were like that. There was well the chilla game was I think night shift. Um and it was that you worked at the coffee shop. And then you're also you work at a convenience store in that puppet combo game. So like it's there's a lot of games that are like that. Um where like you're doing like a mundane I don't say mundane, but you're doing a job and then stuff happens around it. It's a it's a it's a, not a new formula for horror games, but it always works well because you're so focused on doing this routine as fast as you can that you're not even paying attention to anything else. Appreciate you. Quick follow up question. <laughs> um, yeah, shit. That's uh, I have some kinks that I want to like share with you so we can like do these things. I'm okay, and they're like, I have a foot pad. <laughs> this guy, I thought he was AI generated. He is not AI generated. That is for sure. Shit. Now I want to go see. Break the Curse of the Death Stone. Yeah, so this is a whole different... The first game that he made has to do with another stone. That's pretty cool. Oh, they're all, it's all... Uh, the games are $5, but this one, The Madness of Death, is on sale until February 5th for $2.50. Sick. Curious, um... The Master Death is a short game that lasts between 30 and 60 minutes. <laughs> I shouldn't. I shouldn't. I'm already like kind of high uh, Anyways. I'm going to go shower if I don't catch you when you raid out. I hope you have a great rest of your night, Jug and Chat. Oh, thank you, Twy. Tomorrow's Friday. Do it. Oh. Mm. Ah. That's a lovely shirt Whoa! you're wearing. Thank you, homie. Oh, thank you, Wheeler. Sugar, thank you for the sub to Twy. Twy, if you haven't immediately left, you probably just heard that. <laughs> thank you so much, Sugar. Also, Bolt Thrower. <laughs> gotcha, BB. Yeah. I was listening to a lot of, um, like, Morbid Angel and Death earlier, and I was like, I want some Bolt Thrower. Who? Coxler? Um, I'm I am gonna go buy this game though, The Madness of Death. Do 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 do. Install content. How long is the download? What are we looking at here? Oh yeah, I fucking hit install and even fucking do it. Son of a me, bitch. Never occurred while installing connection timeout. Brother. I was beating the shit out of his ball bag. Nice. Okay. Where on earth is the game that I just bought? You're gonna save some of that meat for me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. <laughs> Please don't do that shuffle. Would you believe he has more of those kinds of clips of me? I'm so fucking wholesome. Why he do that? Oh my god. And uh, I got all of the achievements of that game, by the way. I mean, it's that's what I figured. Um, for six nights to die, that is. Back here, Vania Studios. That's weird. It shows it as in, in my cart. I think Steam fucking got weird. I'm going to restart my Steam, actually. But that's weird. Like, I paid for it. And it was like, hey, it's all set. Hit the install content button. I was like, yes, press the button. And I pressed it, and it gave me a connection timed out error. <laughs> Even Steam's like, I don't want you playing this game. 
Not tonight. <laughs> there we go. Recent games, The Madness of Death. And install. Hopefully this doesn't fucking crash my stream. I've actually, I haven't installed anything on stream in a while. Okay, is that a record or a song? Heavy, both are always inspired by Mushroom Head and Disturbed. <laughs> They're a great new metal groove band. I know both are never listened. I want your new metal groove. <laughs> I hate you, Tree. <laughs> yeah, Kill Chains where it's at. This whole album is really fucking good. Um, oh, good. That actually finished installing. Word. Don't hate tree. Tree's extra lovely. It's a kill chain or ritual. Yeah, the kill chain's on this. Um, I don't remember which one of ritual's on. I like the anti tank dead armor is a fucking sick song that's on here. Actually, gonna throw on a bit more. You Zach. Play next. Um, Ritual is on fourth. Okay, gotcha. Boop, boop, boop. Oh. Oh, excuse me. Ugh. There's, you'd be surprised, Wheeler. Uh, Bolt Thrower is one of the most popular shirts that I've been seeing at hardcore shows. Either that or like some random black metal band shirt. Like I've seen a few um Dark Throne t-shirts as well. Jokes on us. Heavy's gonna go listen to Never Ending Game for the 50th time. <laughs> you mean Pantera without the racism? 50th. Brother, I've listened to Never Ending Game 50 times this year, and it's only February 2nd. At least where I am. Guy My Hood has a fourth crusade shirt. I was so excited he seemed bored talking about it. Oh, that's too bad. Bummer. Well, all right. So I, I'm intrigued though. I'm gonna be um I'm gonna try to make some time next week to fit in the madness of death. I do want to play this so that way we could say that we've played the first two games. And it sounds like there's two more games that are gonna be coming in the future. Uh where we get the other two stones. Whether that means it's the third game and the fourth is the final, or you do all four, then there's a big game, a, a, a fifth game or something. I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot what the races was. Earth Crisis? Oh. Weird. How do you wear a bolt thrower shirt, and then when someone gives you props, you just act like, meh. Maybe he wears this shirt every day. That's happened to me twice at work. <laughs> um... God, yeah. <laughs> My favorite was when I'd go to a show, I'd buy merch, and I would be like, hey, you know what? I'm My next show, I'm going to wear my new merch. And it was like, you know, maybe a week later, I'd be at another show. And 99.999% .99 of the time, someone would come up to me and they'd either tap me on the back or be like, hey, like point at my shirt and go, did you go to that show? And like it fucking without fail all the time. And it was just, it became like an inside joke between me and my friends that would go to shows together. And I'd be like, all right, who's going to, because we'd all wear like a shirt that we bought at like the last show or two and bring it and like wear it to like the latest show and we'd see who would get caught first. So ridiculous. Uh and uh, yeah, I was toying with the idea of trying to fit this in, but I just I feel bad because we started we started like forty minutes late today, and now we're finishing like twenty almost twenty minutes early. So I'm like, fuck! Like I killed off a whole hour from you guys. I'm sorry. Want to shred a set and clone hero? Um, I don't really want to set it up for stream, to be honest, but I will definitely play. Um, I think I'm going to... 
take a look to see who we can raid out to. But I'm definitely going to be playing this other game more than likely next week. Uh, and then, of course, don't forget, everybody, um, this Saturday, 10 p.m., we're going to be doing the VR night. We have um, Oregon Quarter, which is a VR survival horror game. Um, I got through that. I got that through Keymailer as well. And um, once that's done, if I'm able to beat it in one sitting, uh, we'll continue where we left off with the Exorcist Legion. Sorry, stream. I tried to save us. More gray sweats. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um. Oh yeah, right. I have to go look to see who is actually on for rating before we uh, get you guys packed up and ready to go. Let's see. Start at the bottom. We got Rest of Pieces is playing Silent Hill, the short message. Oh, that's that new like Silent Hill short game that came out recently, I guess. We have to look into that too. Ooh, Morbid Angel. Hey, that's my boyfriend. Wow, he's holding out on us. <laughs> Thanks for the Hey, you're welcome, Shuffle. PS5 only, I'm pretty sure. Really? That's stupid as fuck. Uh, we got Scaredy Cat 2's watching TV. Uh, Gothapire's playing Bigfoot. Nox is doing some art. <laughs> if stream crashes, you owe me a sub. Lol. Oh, boy. Uh, Balance TV, TTV's playing Lethal Company. Menace to Tacos is on playing Red Dead Redemption. Kimster's is playing In Out. Uh, Embrace the Chaos playing some DBD. We have the Lama Goddess, Lama Goddess playing Dark Souls Remastered. Tubin's playing Pal World. Uh, Elder Goosey's obviously playing Seven Days to Die. Not Your Parents, GNS. They're also playing Silent Hill, The Short Message. Uh, huh. Okay, BB, I don't break up couples. I get shared by them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Um, I don't think I've ever been able to have a chance to um, raid Balance TTV, and he's raided here at least twice. So why don't we return that favor? Yeah, he's on playing uh, Lethal Company with, uh, oh, Le Living Dead Girl, another fellow CEO of Scream along with me and Balance, and uh, Debrohan and Redmaster787. Yeah, let's get this up and running. As long as it's consensual, it's true. Uh, I fixed my raid button. It was as easy as pressing two buttons. I just always forget when it breaks. Uh, but yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's uh, let's wrap this up here. As much as I want to stay around for a little bit longer, it's just like I don't want to start anything. And um, it's also where the slime lives. <laughs> uh, but no, for real. Uh, I've just, I've been very tired the last couple of days. This week's just been really rough. Um, thank you all for bearing with me as I made a, a, a few hours ahead of time making the, the audible call to switch the VR night off of tonight to Saturday and take our Saturday games and play tonight. Because I definitely enjoyed it. <laughs> what a bad babes. And so with that said, um we're gonna do our usual sign off here uh so first and foremost if you're coming over in that raid which i hope you are i loved doing the raids it's one of the like the coolest things about streaming i didn't know about until i started streaming but uh grab one of those messages the top one which i also put at the very bottom of the list there uh that's if you're a subscriber you have those emotes use them up uh otherwise use some other emotes you got or use the generic one that has the red pickaxe on it and says raid uh, if you'd like to be supportive of the stream in a non-monetary way, which would be fucking cool as hell, uh, please go and subscribe to YouTube. I post VODs Monday, Wednesday, Friday, as well as uh, a short on Tuesday and Thursday. I'm also on TikTok posting the same Tuesday and Thursday. Um, and obviously Twitter, we all know what that is, that hunk of shit platform that just won't die. And uh, last but not least, Discord, our home away from home. Uh, we are pushing to try to have 200 people in that Discord. We're getting real close. I think we're like 188 or 189, very close. Uh, we all have a lot of fun there. We got the memes. We got the wrestling watching parties. We do some uh, community game nights, which Jackbox is coming soon. I promise. I do promise. Um, 
So yeah, a lot of reasons to come join Discord, but there's also a lot of reasons why you wouldn't want to join Discord because you're probably in a gazillion of them anyways. So I totally get that. But uh, that's enough of this spiel and self-promotion for me. Time to send some love over to Balance TTV. Again, Balance is one of my fellow CEOs of Screams. Uh, he is playing with Living Dead Girl, another CEOs of Screams, uh, as well as Debrohan and Redmaster787. Not familiar with the two of them, um, but... They're keeping good company with the two people I do know here. Join Discord for my dinner picks. That too. Sugar does share some really good dinner pictures. And then Candy uh, always takes pictures of the food she goes out and gets to. Or or makes at home. Love you, Jug. Thanks for the stream. Hey, thanks for coming to hang with me, Heavy. I know I'm like... I, I know I'm like... I, I, I make some content that maybe is not enjoyable for many. That are scared of the content. And that's cool. So the fact that you're here is really cool to me. So thank you. Um, yeah, I'm going to go chill out. Maybe I'll play some Clone Hero with Heavy for a bit. Mm, maybe. Uh, but yeah, we'll be back on Saturday. Everyone enjoy your Friday. Uh, whatever you have planned to do, just be safe. Have a good time. And uh, enjoy your Saturday. And I will see you all Saturday evening for some VR madness. Uh, bye bye <laughs>